Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL recently conducted the inaugural flight test of the FOC Final Operational Clearance LCA Tejas fighter with a SP-21 tail number piloted by KA Amathana RETD Air Commander the FOC just took off from HAL Airport and aired for 40 minutes, reports News 18. HAL achieved important achievements within 12 months after the release of the Drawing Applicability List DAL, and SOP Standard Operating Procedure by CEMILAC, the statement said. The FOC just variant is claimed to be more sophisticated with some improvements after getting input from the Indian Air Force after operating the Tejas variant IOC fighter. According to the manufacturer of HAL, the latest Tejas absorbed many manufacturing improvements based on the Tejas IOC initial operational clearance that has been used by the Indian Air Force IAF. The IAF will soon place 16 FOC Tejas for the 18 Flying Bullet Squadron based in Sular, where the 45 Tejas Flying Dagger Squadron has been strengthened by 16 IOC Tejas. After all 16 FOC Tejas are sent, HAL will change the IOC Tejas to the final operational clearance standard and then move to produce MKI variant Tejas. The biggest criticism of the IOC Tejas is its limited reach and fuel carrying capacity. Old Tejas currently carries two fixed tanks with a capacity of 1,200 and 800 liters. Tejas FOC now gets an additional tank with a capacity of 725 liters installed in the middle lane, right in the middle of the fuselage. To further increase the range, the Tejas FOC has a refueling probe in the air for the first time, which means that the Tejas can now fly for longer missions without worrying about running out of fuel. However, unfortunately this will increase the radar profile on the Tejas. The FOC Tejas is equipped with a GSH-23 automatic cannon with a 23mm caliber double barrel. Automatic cannons now have better software and have been tested on land. Soon, the cannon will be tested for its combat abilities as well. Tejas FOC will also carry Astra BVR beyond visual range missiles in the future. Astra is a BVR air-to-air -air missile made in India with a range of 110 kilometers. At present the Tejas is equipped with Derby BVR missiles made by the Israeli company. Tejas FOC is claimed to a better maneuverability and agility which will help Tejas to penetrate the power of 8G at lower speeds, increasing its flying maneuverability. Tejas can maneuver from 3G to 8G. To achieve such agility, changes have been made to the mechanical system including the flap. This will also help Tejas to save itself from incoming missile attacks that quickly pull the 8G movement without losing power in the air. HAL Tejas is LCA, Light Fighter Plane, or Supersonic Light Fighter, wing of the new generation of Delta Wings made by HAL, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, as the first Indian-made fighter. This aircraft was officially named Tejas which is Sanskrit from light. The first concept was made in 1975 but the project failed due to the absence of getting the engine desired by the IAF, Indian Air Force, from a foreign party. 
The LCA project was resumed in 1983 and in 1984 the ADA Aeronautical Development Agency was formed from HAL to manage the LCA Tejas program as an urgent need to replace the IAF MiG-21 fighter aircraft which had been in use since 1970 and would expire in the year 1995. ADA is a national consortium which oversees about 100 or more defense laboratories, industrial organizations and academic institutions to develop the fly-by-wire combat system, flight control system and multi-mode pulse Doppler, but initially they severely limited the role of foreigners in the project. The aircraft uses the Delta Wing design and uses a single afterburner jet engine and for initial selection HAL uses an American-made jet engine General Electric F404 GEIN-20 as a temporary power plant until their own turbofan jet engine. The Cavalry GTRE GTX 35 VS is ready. The ambitious LCA Tejas project uses many local components in the process. There are around 35 major avionics components made by themselves and only involve three foreign contractors in the work of multi-function displays MFDs from Sexton, France, and Elbit, Israel. Helmet-mounted display in sight Israel HMDS queuing system by Elbit, laser pod supplied by Raphael, Israel, and Martin Baker's ejection seat ejection seat for import components. But in May 1998 India conducted their nuclear weapons test which resulted in the country receiving sanctions on embargo and components that were originally to be imported had to be made themselves. At first they developed CFC technology, composite fiber carbon, and modern glass cockpit and even NADA instead benefited from license for auto ole integrated automated software system technology for the design and development of 3D laminated composite elements purchased by Airbus and Infosys. Through continuous technological research, ADA is finally able to produce 70% of the aircraft's main components, including homemade MMR multi-mode radar to minimize the purchase of imported components as small as possible. The concept was carried out from October 1987 to September 1988 and ADA appointed Dassault Aviation Parachis as a consultant to oversee the manufacture of prototype aircraft. The Tejas program experienced many delays which led to the development of at least a decade. The first problem is that when the design was completed in 1990, the government commission found many deficiencies in the critical technology area. So the government decided to make two technology demonstrators to ensure the completion of the technology problem. The first aircraft of this technology demonstrator was completed in 1995. But difficulties in the flight control system and the manufacture of structural composite components caused the aircraft could not yet fly. Another big problem was in 1998, when India's nuclear tests caused the U.S. to sanction a ban on the sale of General Electric F-404 turbofans to India. These sanctions also led to the cessation of assistance from Lockheed Martin in the development of flight control systems. India decided to continue this program despite the many problems encountered and decided to make its own jet engine to replace the F-404. This decision caused another problem due to production delays and increased costs to develop new cavalry machines. This problem is further exacerbated by the decision to repurchase additional F-404 engines for initial Tejas production after the U.S. cancelled sanctions. It is expected that the cavalry engine can be put into use in 2010. The first technology demonstrators TD-1 were finally able to fly in 2001 then followed by TD-2 and two prototype aircraft PV-1 and PV-2. These planes are used to conduct trials and test the advanced technology that will be used on Tejas.